Farah Abraham pens raging Yelp review after setting fire to apartment. Hello everyone, my name is Ron, nice to see you on my channel. More than once, Farah Abraham's bad behavior has led to her arrest. One would almost think that she has a problem with security guards. But not all of her antics take place out and about. Sometimes, the problem happens at home. As we reported last week, Farah Abraham set her apartment on fire. Where Farah is concerned, however, nothing is ever her fault. So she's absolutely trashing the apartment complex. Talk about victim blaming. Farah Abraham has an apartment in Austin, Texas. Truly, the Lone Star State deserves better. As we reported, she apparently left a lit candle just, sitting out, unattended, on her patio. Not for a few minutes, either. It happened overnight. The Austin Fire Department arrived at around 12.30 in the morning, responding to the fire at her home. This went down in September. Apparently, the candle that Farah had left sitting out fell over. A patio chair then caught fire. Farah was, reports say, inside and asleep at the time of the fire. Her 13-year-old daughter, Sophia, was also home. Fortunately, Sophia was not hurt. And neither was Farah. We all know that fires can be an additional hazard for people living in apartments, condominiums, or townhouses. It only takes one Farah to royally Farah things up for a whole lot of people. Thankfully, it sounds like the Austin Fire Department got things under control before any neighbors were hurt, also. After the patio furniture ignited, the sprinkler system reportedly went off. Most apartments have systems that automatically contact the fire department if they detect smoke, even if it's a false alarm. Just in case, that portion of the building underwent an evacuation just after midnight. We're sure that this was no fun for anyone. Please like and subscribe to my channel and the click on the bell icon to get new video updates. But, better safe than sorry. Farah is not a long-time resident of the apartment building. In fact, before that September incident, she had only lived in the building for about one month. That is not a great way to introduce yourself to your neighbors. Now, obviously, anyone could accidentally set a fire. That has been happening for millennia. An accidental fire does not necessarily mean that a person is bad or reckless. Sometimes, they truly did nothing wrong. But that does not mean that Farah, specifically, is, good, or, responsible. Farah Abraham's Yelp reviews are infamous for a reason. Though she has since deleted them, Farah penned a furious review aimed at the apartment complex where she actually lives. Instead of taking responsibility for leaving a burning candle sitting out in the wind next to flammable materials, she's blaming everyone else. Like always. In the now-deleted screed, Farah claimed that the staff did not do their due diligence in a way that led to the fire. She also raged against horrible cleaning, complained about the maintenance, and blames the apartment complex for slow Wi-Fi. We don't know the particulars of her lease, but it would be a surprise if they were responsible. Farah wrote that she would babysit maintenance since they couldn't use their two hands. We don't know what that means. But we absolutely know that we don't envy anyone who has to do maintenance work for Farah. I wish this building all the best because it needs the best to upkeep the bones of the new building, Farah rambled. She continued, the cleaning and support to residents needs an exception amount of training. No one should be treated like this or disrespected in their home, Farah insisted. 2022 lives by better work ethics, equality, and inclusion than this building provides. And NBSP, girl, what does that mean? Farah went so far as to single out an employee in a follow-up review, which is extra awful. Also, she griped about maintenance not replacing the fire sprinkler. For the record, the sprinkler that she has reportedly went off as intended. What else does she want? But then, Farah has a long and ugly history of leaving barely intelligible rage rants about every inconvenience the real ones, and the ones that she simply imagines. 